Hi everybody, welcome back to Bible Journaling with Leanne. We're going to be lighting the second candle on our Advent crown today. The first candle was hope and the second is peace. So um, candle two peace focuses on the prophets and all those who came to tell everybody about Jesus is coming. Now to prepare my page today, I'm just putting two layers of clear gesso on with a um, foam brush before I dry it um, with my heat tool. But let's just read the Bible passage while I'm doing that. So Isaiah chapter nine. Nevertheless, there'll be no more gloom for those who are in distress. In the past he humbled the land of Zebulun and the land of Nephtali, but in the future he will honour Galilee of the nations by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. For as in the land day of Midian's defeat, you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. Every warrior's boot used in battle and every garment rolled in blood will be destined for burning, will be fueled for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Praise God. I just love that passage and there's a really special person from my home church who I just picture reading it every time I hear it. You can see on this page I've just um, marked out where I'm going to be stamping and then I've done some um, watercolour smishing in the background before I just check all of my positioning is correct. Um, I'm not an expert stamper. Um, when I'm not stamping in my Bible, I tend to use a misty stalk tool or a stamping stool uh, tool that gives you the opportunity to um, stamp down a few times in the same place and get enough of an impression. But that's tricky in a Bible, and so you have to use an acrylic block. Um, but I never get a good impression. I should have put a piece of cardboard under my page today, but I forgot. Um, so my impression isn't perfect, but I can touch that up with a pen as I go along and it can work for what I'm doing today. So I'm going to go in and colour this now with my pencils, layering up the colours and building them up as I go. So we read this lovely special passage from Isaiah together, this passage that talks about our Jesus coming. And those four names just leap off the page, don't they? He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And it is the Prince of Peace who we are focusing on today. Jesus didn't come to divide and destroy, but to bring peace and to bring joy. And those are the gifts that we receive when we live our life in him. Not lives that strive after all that the world calls us to. Not lives that make ourselves busy and exhausted and burnt out, but lives filled with his peace and his joy. And so as I was reflecting today, I, I was thinking about that word peace and who Jesus came is the prince uh, <laughs> and Jesus who is the Prince of Peace and what that means for us. So um, on the top of this page later I turn um, Prince of Peace into an acrostic poem. So he is a Prince of People, he is the Prince of Eternity. The prophesying of Jesus wasn't 
just a future prophecy. We see Jesus from the very beginning of time, the very beginning of the creation. Jesus is the prince of the anguished. The people who are in bondage, the people who are anxious and um, worried, he came to be the prince for those people too. He is the prince of the captured. I got a letter through from Hope for Justice this morning just sharing how many trafficked people have been released this year and it blows me away but what blows me away more was that how many people were trapped and captured this year but Jesus the Prince of Peace came for them too. This baby in a manger had so much power way beyond what we can see or understand. He is the prince for everyone, our prince of peace who comes for each and every one of us. And that's why he came as a humble baby. That's why his humility was evident right from his very birth. And that's what I was reflecting on as I was painting, as I was colouring, as I was drawing. That Jesus is our prince. He had that royalty. It wasn't that he was just a lowly baby born in a stable. It wasn't that he was um, the, just the meekest. Although he was humble and he was meek. But Jesus was also prince. He was also king. He was also God. And that blows me away. That both It's both and. He is the humble and he is the king. And so as I reflected on this image, I I, um, I changed my mind halfway through and I added a crown and I wish I'd have um, had that idea right from the very start because actually I would have made that more significant in the image to make the contrast more. That idea that he is the baby in the major and the king of all of creation. He is the Prince of Peace and he is the Wonderful Counselor. All these things are incredible layers, but they're also such stark contrasts, aren't they? We've got Wonderful Counselor, that, that image of someone humble and, and pure and someone who listens and you confide in against mighty God. And you kind of picture God in all of his battle gear, absolutely um, parading through victorious and triumphant everlasting father that picture of the eternal again and that softness of the um, father that he is God with us because he is dad and then we have the prince of peace two words in stark contrast to each other the princes of this world have very rarely brought peace to their people that when they do they stand out and they they um, speak into our culture and our communities more than ever but our Jesus he is our prince of peace he loves us and he came for us and so I've just used some stickers today and some stamping to just put those um, letters in place. Prince of Peace with that acrostic poem. Outlining all the letters just to make them pop off the page a bit more. They did struggle a bit to stick to my gesso background so I did need to glue a few of them on. But um, that's the nature of working with Jess. That's why I don't do it very often. It changes how everything reacts. So whenever you are using a gessoed page, make sure that you've just had a bit of time to practice with it and work out how all your elements are going to react to being on that kind of preparation. So let's just finish with a prayer. God, our Father, you spoke to the prophets of old of a saviour who would bring peace. Help us as we prepare to celebrate his birth, to share with those around us the good news of his love and power. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light who is coming into the world. Amen. God bless everybody. I'll see you very soon.